hello everybody I want to show today how I did uh, uh, an image for the Raspberry Pi 3 using Beelzewood and I want to make an image uh, that have a QT5 and I, I can test all the um, um, the, the examples from Qt that I can compile uh, I, I tell build you to, to build all the examples and it's in 32 bit of the um, Raspberry Pi for some reason I didn't saw that this uh, combination works with uh, a 64 bit because I'm using the Mesa drivers I don't know so I started um, from a make Raspberry Pi 3 dev config and and from here I use the X config. So first of all, everything here, what I did, and especially all the problems that I, I face with are uh, documented here and you also can find it in my github I have my documents Linux build root and I have this build image with Qt5 this is the document and um, of course build root you can download it from here um, for me build root it's a very um, starting point for everything which means that build root is like an index everything in build root is a topic if you go to um, to the build root we can see here that everything is a topic the compiler is a topic is you can take it from a uh, cross tool ng and the kernel how to compile a kernel you can do it by yourself or let um, uh, uh, build root do it for you and if it's a file system everything it's, it's like a, it's like a great book with uh, index file and every library here is a topic so if i'm starting from the 32 bits um the first the, on the target option I'm not doing anything we see that this is ARM and not ARC uh, 64 and we choose the F53 we go to the build option you can change the def config or the download there um, I don't use the compiler cache um, toolchain toolchain for if you use build root toolchain it will take you a lot a lot of time and also I noticed that there are some problems with the compilation so better to use the external toolchain I like to use the ex external or the uh, custom if I'm using custom I build my own toolchain uses the, the cross tool ng and then I tell build root how to do it I did it in a, a different video show you how to do it so now we will choose the linear arm uh, with external uh, uh, toolchain system configuration we need to use the dynamic using uh, EU dev in order to let um, uh, build root it, it needs to load the VC4 driver and the VC4 driver is marked as a module so uh, EU dev need to, to load uh, this we can change the password okay and the password is good to put password with it is not blank because dropper um, the SSH uh, uh, server doesn't like empty um, empty password okay so we just put the dropper um, nothing here you can change it everything is okay for now um, the kernel is from the github okay so target pa packages I like to put the show packages and uh, they provided by build root and let's go let's go uh, oh, uh, okay so this setup uses the Mesa 3D and the Galileo VC4 driver after we enable it we can select OpenGL and then we can go to Qt. Okay, we select Qt5, and in Qt5 we um, ask to compile and install examples. This because we want to test all examples. We can uh, ask to put almost everything. Okay, 
okay when you select GUI model we get the possibilities for the OpenGL and we want the OpenGL model and EGLS support okay this is actually like telling the builder to make a configure using platform EGLF, EGLA, EGLFS and what is also important is to put on uh, the PNG and JP because for example uh, um, the maroon uh, quick uh, example demo in the few example needs PNG support um, well, we, we can enable all of this and what we want is the Qt uh, declarative this is the Qt quick so this is the Qt quick and we want the uh, Qt quick control uh, we can enable all of this by the way I noticed that this doesn't compile and also WebKit doesn't compile so all others can are co compile fine so we can enable them okay this is important at the beginning I use um, the X server drivers um, basically I enable it but um, when I choose those drivers, okay, if I choose this one and the lib input, um, I get that there is no mouse. So all of that we don't want to select. What we want to select is the lib input. This this we want. Okay, um, the lib input that we can find in hardware handling. This help Qt to um, control the mouse and the keyboard okay um, one more th important thing is the file system image once we add Qt and uh, some stuff the size will be bigger so we can change it like for example to 24 to make more, more room to the file system um, another library that is important is the XKV Como. The this library, um, Qt use this library for um, a keyboard. And also, what we need is fonts. Everything is explained in the document that I wrote, all the steps and uh, okay, we can go here and select some font, deja vu, whatever. Liberation, Liberation Sans, this is a well-known uh, font. And once we did it, um, Okay, so Qt, as I explained in the document, uh, sorry, buildroot is installing those in the uh, uh, slash um, uh, user share font, user share font, and Qt is searching for the fonts in user lib fonts. So um, here I wrote something called the font problem. So when I tried to run the Maroon example, I uh, it didn't find any font or any application didn't find any font. So at the beginning, I I, I, wrote, I read somewhere that we need to do something like uh, a link between user share and user lib, but this didn't work. What did work is to specify an environment variable for the Qt QPA font dir, and if you set it to Qt QPA font dir. You can uh, to use a share font, for example, Deja Vu that we just marked and to install, and the Qt will present fonts. Okay, we, we see, you will see um, um, here in the document you can see the, all the environment variables that I, I used. Um, this is the font here. This is the enable terminal keyboard. This let me do Control C and exit the um, OpenGL application because it catch all the screen. And if I want to exit without rebooting the Raspberry Pi, I can. I will set a 
QT, uh, QP enable keyboard and then I can exit. Okay, the EGLS integration is KMS and this is actually I don't think we need to put it because this one and this one will be set by a um, build root because we t told him that uh, um, we told him that we want um, here uh, the EGLF. So if if I will put Linux frame buffer, for example, because I wrote somewhere, I, I read some some place that you need the Linux frame buffer to determine the the size of the screen. So if we use this one, we need to tell him in a default graphical platform uh, EGLFS. We need to tell him that this is our preferred plat platform. Okay, so this we also can do it, and then we have two uh, plugins, two uh, plugins. Qt uses some kind of four plugins: Wayland, EGLFS, Linux Frame Buffer, and Direct Frame Buffer. Um, to show, to go to the document. Um, if we want to enable some kind of uh, QML import, this will enable um, traces, a lot of traces. What's going on behind the scene with the QML? This is also the logging. Um, what I did, I put them on the output target etc profile. Um, I, I put all of those export. So when the system uh, the Raspberry Pi reboots, uh, it will add it automatically to, to the environment. See, this is the file where uh, we have the path and um, well, some kind of script. I put it here. Um, Actually, this is the what needed. This is the fonts. Um, Linux Com we talked about. Um, okay, so very important is the mouse problem because uh, at the beginning it took me some time. I don't know. It took me some time to understand that Qt doesn't need all of this. Not only if we put it. Uh, if we mark this one, two, three, four, five, we we do put it. The mouse will not work. You will see the the actually the mouse will work, but you will not see the cursor. So actually, you don't have mouse, you don't have keyboard. So it's very important not to mark those as enabled. Okay, just you can put the keyboard or something like this. And that's it. Um, after we. Um, we finish with this. I think everything we we have it everything ready. We can save, exit, and and do make. And the results. So I ran the example. This is um, the example that run on the Linux Ubuntu. Uh, you see a window, and here is how it's run on the HDMI um, output. I didn't try yet on the uh, touch screen that I have. I will try it later. And also what's important is the example of the QT uh, quick control gallery where all the widgets or the QML widget um, have a demo. So um, this is a screenshot from the my HDMI connected to the Raspberry Pi. This is another puzzle game. I don't know. And after I solved the problem of the fonts PNG, that is very important. By the way, I uh, using help from somebody from the internet. Um, I did enable the PNG, but only after some time, and I didn't do rebuild. And it caused me like two days delay to understand what's going on. And eventually. Uh, somebody told me you need to rebuild because because it takes too much time sometimes we we said we don't want to rebuild but sometimes we don't have any choice we we need to do make clean and rebuild everything ah so hmm, I forget additional uh, two things that are very important once you t uh, compile and run this uh, image you will still get a DRM device cannot load so what you need, what you need to do, is um, to load an overlay. Uh, there are two overlays. Um, 
for the Raspberry Pi. Um, here I explained it. You have the um, the VC4 KMS V3D and the fake KMS. So you can go to the file output image RPI firmware overlays and add another, the overlay here. Once you do it, this is the device tree block for the device driver. And once you add it, the, the DRM will load the device driver and you will be able to see the uh, here. What you need to see on the, when the Raspberry Pi is initializing, you need to see a DRM initialized, VC4 DRM, because otherwise if you not add this overlay, you will not see uh, this message and you can and the OpenGL will not work. One more thing that um, uh, it's also explained here. Ah, by the way, this is we see that the DRM VC4 is is uh, um, indicated as a module inside the Linux kernel. Uh, what else? Ah, okay. There is a one compilation issue where with the CRC um, that um, when you want to compile the QHash CPP, okay, the, the way I, f I fix it, I just edit this file and did undef for our feature uh, CRC32 at the beginning of this of this file okay because he's using um, th th this file is using um, ARM command that does not exist in the 32-bit uh, version of the compiler so um, adding this undef um, just solve the problem but, uh, but we need to make this is how I solve it, but probably there are different way to solve it. Um, but every time I did make link, I need to edit again because uh, it downloaded the, the, the Qt, of course, and and this this change is uh, um, disappear. I tried to do it here in this uh, file Qt base so predef h and to remove this define, but uh, I didn't check if it worked or not. It can take me some time. Um, that's it. If you go over this document and what I explained here, you can uh, save, exit, and uh, start the make here. It will take you some time because what takes so much time is the Qt. Uh, configuration and compiling the Qt libraries. This takes like in my computer like uh, five six hours. I don't know, <laughs> and I have a very uh, strong computer. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for um, uh, listening. Uh, yeah, hopefully, it will help you uh, in your image building. Bye bye.